Hey guys, so I am at a Goodwill in Orland Park, Illinois, and I am in the purses section, hoping we find something good. Huh, Bella Taylor. Looks just like Vera Bradley. Okay, that was interesting. I was certain that would be a Vera Bradley. Relic. What do we have here? Hmm. Not sure. So I am hoping we find something in this one. I've never been to this store before, but this is kind of a more upscale area. So I'm hoping they have better donations. <laughs> I don't know, though I've been to other upscale areas where the store was empty, you know, almost no purses. So let's see. Sure with this size. I didn't bring a shopping cart with me. I wanted to see, no more. I wanted to see if I found anything first because the last, um, the, the last three or four Goodwills were so disappointing with the purses that I, I just thought, well, Let's not mess with the shopping cart until I see if it's worth it. Huh. Isolated wine clip. Rosetti. A cork purse. Is it going? Viejo. You know, I've run across that brand before and I have checked comps and for such a nice brand of a purse, the comps are just not that great on, on eBay. So I have not been... <laughs> I have not been buying that brand, though the purses are lovely. But these clips are doing a number on all the bags. Yeah, I'm not a fan of those clips. Yeah, that Viejo is the nicest purse here. And it is cute, but I'm sure if I unclip this, let's see, just not good. Okay, there's more purses. I thought it was just that one row, but there are more. What is this? Seat Klein. I don't know anything about that maker. What about this one? This looks, oh, that's a Liz Claiborne. It's a nice Liz Claiborne. It's in good shape. The resale value is just not there. That's a shame. That's a nice bag. If I was looking for myself, I would get it. Okay, this says Mark 
for sure. And not familiar with that brand. Okay, somebody's old Kleenex. <laughs> God. I gotta look that brand up. It seems like a decent bag. And there are some flaws. It's not perfect. I'm gonna have to look up that brand. Alright, what is this? It's a cute bag too. I just realized these bags are being better taken care of. They're on hooks. They're not in those clips. What does this say? Oh, apartment nine. I don't think the comps are great for that brand either. Okay, let's keep looking. I am a little encouraged by the fact that I found a bunch of purses that don't have those black clips. I think that's a charming Charlie bag. and wallets. No brands. I don't think it was leather, that brown one. G. Hill. What's this? This is leather. This is, this I think is a problem, guys. I think, it's not in the best of shape. There are some scratches. There are some pin marks. I, I think, girl, that that can be buffed out for the most part with some nice leather polish. I am pretty sure and this is an authentic bottom. It's all leather inside too. Okay, we're getting this for 15. And I've got to buy some nice uh, leather polish. <laughs> I've got to buy some nice leather polish and take some time to clean that up because that is worth cleaning up. That is what you hope for when you come to the deal that switch you pay, you're going to find. I think this is a Dooney. Yeah, it's doing. It's a little dirty on the inside, I think. Yeah, it's a little dirty on the inside. Three dollars. 
I'm going to hang on to it. I might be able to clean that up. All right, let's keep looking. Maybe the person that donated the Brahmin had more than one. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be lovely? What is this? looks brand new. Hang on, let me free up my hands. So this is a nice bag, but it doesn't have a brand name. It is brand new. It is leather and suede. I don't know the price though. I'm going to have to see what the price is. See if it's worth taking a chance on that. Okay, let's keep looking here. This is a Nine West. Boy, that was kind of like an unexpected, unexpected surprise to find a Brahmin first. Sasha, how much is this? $5. Don't know. Don't know that brand. probably leave this at $12.99. Uh, if it had a maker's mark, I would probably take it. It is a nice bag, but, and it is leather. If I needed a purse like this, I would jump on it. But for resale, I just don't know. I mean, if the sale price somewhere in the store was $30, I, I just don't know if there's enough room there to try to resell that. Okay. So I don't know if this is a bargain or not, guys, but they have brand new Eddie Bauer plush Sherpa Rose. Different colors, different patterns for $20. Tons of them. So I don't know if other Goodwills have them. I have not seen them. But this one in Orland Park definitely has them. And it has a lot of them. Okay, as usual, let's take a look at the candles. This is cute. Little candle. on that. I'm not sure what smell that is. What is this? Flower pot hugger. Okay, I guess it's just decoration. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, why, why does a flower pot need a hug? <laughs> but there is an idea with what someone can do with repurposing jewelry. We can create flower pot huggers. I'm always looking for what we can do to repurpose jewelry. And now I have one other, one other new idea. 
Sweet home. Oh, I see. Okay. Got some artwork. Store is really packed today. So I got fabric. This is like pajama fabric. picture frames always looking for that overlooked sterling silver frame <laughs> have not found one but one day okay this I gotta get that is right up my alley that I'm doing we have. Okay guys, I found these great looking mugs. There's three of them. None of them have a price, but I'm going to take them up to the front and see what they say. 